What's up, YouTube? Today we're looking at a clip of sorts. This is from Clip and Carry, proudly made in the U.S. of A. Um, it says adjustable retention, ultra durable Kydex construction, 22 degrees of adjustable can't. And by can't, they don't mean cannot. There's, that is not a contraction. Um, as you can see, they have several social media sites. And uh, this is for the Buck 110 or the Buck 112. Since 2019, Clippy Carry has been designing Kydex multi-tool sheets and EDC accessories. Our sheets are made in the USA by military veterans. That actually had nothing to do with me buying this, although I don't buy things not made. At least, you know, America or Eastward stopping at uh, the Ukraine. I don't buy things from Ukraine, though. I, just because it makes me feel weird. Limited to lifetime warranty. So I'm going to keep a hold of this simply because um, it, it would appear that they have a website. And maybe more stuff. They were very much... Um, what am I trying to say? They were very responsive. I emailed them and I was like, will this work in this thing? And they were like, yes. Um, by retention being adjustable, I'm assuming that, I actually don't know what that means, but we're just going to go ahead. And... So you put it in, right? And this is what I'm finding. So you rock it forward and now it won't come out. And I'm assuming your belt would run around this way and this would sit um, in your belt. You could probably put it in your waistband. I don't put things in my waistband. I am not a fan of that. But uh, I think this retention system would probably work pretty well. If you were really tripping about it, you could get uh, an Ulti clip. I may do that. Um, this wasn't expensive, so I don't mind doing that. But anyway... Um, so this won't come out this way, but if you rock it back, it comes right out. Of course, what's happening is that this is kind of scuffing up the nickel silver bolsters. Luckily, I have polishing paste. I could probably fix that. Um, the bottom line is, is that if you're actually carrying these things, they're going to show wear. They're going to show patina. And it's something to be appreciated, not avoided, believe it or not. Um, it does mean that this will probably be less valuable on the open market for resale. However, I don't have any intention of selling it. Uh, sorry, I'm making that shake. I like it quite a bit, and uh, that's why I plan on keeping it. But so, yeah, the one of the reasons that I'm not tripping about maybe what could be a weak retention system, especially if my belts, you know, I'm, I do not plan on putting this in my waistband. I don't put things in my pants that aren't supposed to be there inside of my pants. In the waistband carry is dumb, right? I don't like it. If you want to buy pants several sizes too big and carry your weapon in your pants, instead of like in a fanny pack or in something that would make sense. Um, that's on you. That's weird, bro. I won't be doing that. Uh, yeah, I just don't do it. And honestly, if you get a concealed carry permit and, um, you know, open carry is legal in your state like it is in most places that things are a little bit more weapon permissive, um, I don't see anybody really being like, you know, because some people will tell you, you can't carry, you, you either conceal carry or you open carry. Well, if I have a jacket on, then if it, you know, if it covers up the weapon, it's concealed, right? So if I then I'm taking the jacket off, I'm open carrying, um, you know, that's what I'm going to do. I, I've, oh, I've concealed carried in the past. It's not like I just started. I, I've been concealed carrying since reciprocity wasn't really a thing and you had to get, uh, you know, a CCW permit basically from the state of Nevada. You'd send in your prints and they'd give you one 
and it had reciprocity with a lot of places. You had to like collect them like Pokemon cards or baseball cards. Uh, but the bottom line is, is it's a constitutional right. And I don't see people taking it away from you if you're actually being responsible. Because our constitutional rights can be taken away. If you don't think that they can, you're not paying it. You don't really understand the law, I guess. But uh, to think that you are unable to get in trouble if you were to shout fire in a crowded theater. Or if you were to bring a, gr a gun, grun, a gun onto a school property. If you think that that would be okay because of the Second Amendment or the First Amendment respectively i got news for you that's not how it works anyway to get back to this one of the reasons i'm liking this a lot right now is i've always what i don't like about and you really gotta get that thing in there that is some nice retention i like the clicks but what you really gotta do to get this out is i mean like i said you gotta rock it back and then it will slide out but what is no longer an option if say you're facing the enemy your enemy, um, say you're about to deploy this in self-defense, they can't reach and grab it and just yank it out. This, this won't come out. Could they do it from behind? I guess so. I guess that at some point, you know, like that's kind of the weakness of a Kydex sheath. Because honestly, if it's in one of those leather sheets on your waistband, I think it's a lot harder to get out if it's like a horizontal carry. But I really do like the positive retention and, um, I mean, it wouldn't be hard to check and get this forward and say you're walking around doing stuff. You're going to notice, at least right now before it's super broken in, you're going to notice. And like I said, yeah, this is kind of marring that up a little bit. But uh, I do have, you know, polishing paste. Every couple of months, I'll probably polish that up. But yeah, this is from Clip and Carry. Google them. They're on Facebook. They're on Instagram. They want your business, I'm sure. And this is a good solution. Um, it carries the Buck 110, the 112, and the auto. I'm assuming it would carry both autos. So in any event, that's all she wrote for this one. Thanks for sticking with me, Dan. I hope you folks have a great rest of your day. Bye now.